Hi buddy Rackers! Today's workout is really, really brutal. So get ready to sweat a lot. And it's the last workout that we're gonna do here just before we get on our burpees everywhere tour. So, uh, also before I'm gonna show you what today's workout looks like, I just wanted to dedicate one burpee for buddy rocker Erin because Erin is fighting cancer now. But we're all so positive that she's gonna recover from that. She's gonna beat this and she's gonna win this battle. And she promised to us that she's gonna do her burpee of victory when she's fully recovered. So uh, until then, we're gonna dedicate burpees for her. Every single video I'm gonna do a burpee for her. So this is a first burpee for Erin. And now you guys, you can dedicate a burpee, extra burpee after each one of your workouts for her as well. Send her thoughts to her, send her love or whatever, you know, just to, I think if you all send love to one person, I think it has a healing power for sure and we can all support her in this way. So, is it nice? I think it's great. Amazing. So, it's amazing. amazing. So, um, I'm gonna let you watch the workout for today. Don't forget to do it at home. Push really hard and post your scores. I'm gonna post mine. was my completely new 300 rep workout and uh, I put this workout together because you guys have been complaining lately that the workouts are not as hard so I decided that I'm gonna really uh, really challenge you <laughs> this time <laughs> and telling you it was brutal I was actually scared before I started this workout already when I saw it on the paper and I'm like no <laughs> this is gonna be brutal and it was brutal that was a super hard workout, so I'm really curious what you guys are going to think about this one. And this was my time. I completed it in 30 minutes. Exactly. These 81 are like uh, milliseconds or something like that. So, 30 minutes. You guys can try to beat my time. Remember, for doing this workout, of course you can try to beat my time, but make sure that you're paying attention to your proper form, that's more important than beating my time. So, uh, I'm gonna go now over each exercise so that you know how to do it with proper form and I'm gonna give you easier variations for beginners and I'm gonna give you different variations for the exercises that require, or that I did with equipment. They don't require equipment, 
and I'm gonna show you how you can do it with just your own body weight. So I just I just need five minutes. <laughs> so the first exercise is lunge and twist. And I'm doing it with the 30 pound 30 pound sand back. So it feels really really heavy. You're gonna lunge back and twist to the side. And try not to put the sand back on the ground. Try to keep it off of the ground. And stand up. Alternate sides. So lunge back. Don't place it on the ground. Hold it. And stand up. The important thing is that you're not bending over. Keep your chest up. Core tight. So don't do something like this. Keep your chest up. It's, it's gonna improve your balance, core strength. You're gonna be really uh, working your obliques with this exercise and legs, of course. So, if you're, com if you're a complete beginner, you can do it with just your own body weight. Or you can use a lighter weight, like, like this one, for example, it's 10 pounds. Let's move on. The next one is just a body weight exercise, but it's really, really hard and it's awesome. It's called Dive Bomber Burpee. So, you're gonna put your hands on the ground, you're gonna chop your feet back, but not all the way to the plank, just like this, so that you can do the Dive Bomber push up. It looks like this. You're gonna slide forward, don't place your hips on the ground, just hover above the ground and reverse the movement. Jump your feet forward. Your feet are wide apart as you can see, so that you're in the squat position and jump up. And then repeat. And jump. Now, if you're a complete beginner, you have to make it easier on yourself. So, you're gonna jump into that position. You can place the knees on the ground and you can do something like this and then jump up. Of course, you're gonna need an exercise mat for your knees uh, so that you have some paddings for your knees. <laughs> That's it. And I'm gonna show you the third exercise. The next exercise is a full body exercise. It's really challenging. And I was using my 10 pound oogie for this. So. Bring the oogie above your head. Get into the lunge position. Now we're gonna jump, switch legs. And you're gonna do a swing. Now, alternate sides, side, so jump, switch legs, and swing. Now, uh, the 10 pounds might be too, too heavy for you, especially if you're a beginner. So there is a six pound okay as well. So you might want to start with that one. And if you don't have the okay, or if you're like really super beginner, then you can do this exercise just with your own body weight. So start with arms above your head, jump squat, do the swing. You're doing the same movement, but without the additional weight. So, let's move on. So, for the next exercise, I was using my yugi again. And it looks like this. You're gonna start in the plank position. Now you're gonna jump your feet forward, but with your feet wider apart. Now make sure that your back is straight, uh, core tight. So you're gonna be like, you're gonna do this, like if you wanna arch your back, then jump your feet again into the plank. Bring one knee on the ball and shift your entire weight on the ball. Now your goal is to move yourself away from the ball with the power of your arms. <sighs> now again, jump feet forward, arch your back, jump your feet back into the plank. Now the opposite knee. Knee on the ball, weight on the ball. Now push yourself away from the ball with your arms. This exercise 
was really, really hard. I was originally planning on doing reptile push-up on this, but it was impossible, it was too hard. So this one is a little bit easier, but still super hard. So if you're a beginner, forget about this. There's no way you can do this exercise with the ball. So uh, what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna place your hands on the ground, and you're gonna do it on the ground. Arch your back, step back, now jump back, and just do a knee tuck. Jump forward, jump back, knee tuck. And that's it. Helicopters. Because every day I hear helicopter. It's because they're looking for me, they can't find me. Okay. So, the last exercise is sumo squat with the sandbag. And. Helicopters. Okay, sumo squat with the sandbag. Bring it up. You're gonna put it on your upper back in a swing like motion. And make sure that it's not sitting on your neck but your upper back like this. Now, feet and knees are pointing slightly outwards and your feet are really wide apart. You're gonna squat down and this is your starting position. So you're gonna do a mini squat and lift one foot up. Again, you're gonna return to the starting position and then one foot up. I'm gonna be doing these sumo squats. And there is 20 reps of these in one round. So I'm gonna have the workout breakdown for you with the instructions so that you know exactly how many reps for each exercise. But this is what the sumo squat again looks like. The great thing about the sandbag is that you can take the weight in and out. I have, I use these garden stones as the weight. So uh, I always adjust it as, as I need to. Right now, the sandbag is really, really heavy. It's really like 30 pounds. So you can take some sand out if you need to, to make it lighter. Now, if you don't have the sandbag, if, if you have this, if you have the ugi, then you can still do it with the ugi, the sumo squats. Then it's gonna look like this. And uh, now if you don't have any equipment, then you can still do it with your own body weight and then it's gonna look like this. And that's it. So, these are all of the exercises that I did into this workout. I'm gonna have the workout breakdown for you. I'm gonna uh, tell you how many reps for each exercise you have to do, how many rounds is there. And... Uh, hmm? That's it? Why are you not saying anything? I didn't know you were talking to me. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> <laughs> I, was still, I was still waiting for the helicopter to come and get you. Yeah. <laughs> coming for me. And so, so that's really it for today's workout. And uh, just come to the site, paradox.tv. There's going to be all of the additional information that you need so that you, so you can follow it, you can try it at home. And let us know how did you like it. And it was and if, it, if this workout was finally as brutal as you wished it to be. <laughs> My Chinglish is getting better. <laughs> so... Um, oh, about your outfit. Oh, and... People are always asking me about your clothes and it's driving me nuts. So why don't you tell them for a change what okay, you're wearing. So this is from Lululemon, this is from Lululemon and this is from Nike. And that's it, it was fast, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.